All right, let's do this. Melanoma versus a benign nevus or mole. This one is a little bit tricky because melanoma can look like a lot of different things. Well, only 20 to 30% of melanomas arise within a pre-existing mole. 70 to 80% of melanomas arise de novo, meaning new. They just pop up on the skin. When we worry about a mole changing into melanoma, turning cancerous, it's not usually the raised moles. Of course, melanoma can be raised, but in general, the vast majority is when that mole, it's the flat moles start to get asymmetric. The border gets irregular. It starts to get color changed. Diameter gets more than a pencil eraser. But eye moles usually sit there unchanged for years and years. But if you have a changing mole, you need to get it checked by the dermatologist. Okay, this is a huge one for me. Don't misunderstand. Well, I don't have herpes, but <laughs> the difference between herpes simplex virus and varicella zoster virus. When that patient comes in, an elderly patient with a little group vesicles on an erythematous base on their lower back, very often when they go to the doctor, they are misdiagnosed with shingles. Shingles is usually a one-time thing. Of course, it can happen a second or maybe even a third time, and it needs to follow a complete dermatome, that area of skin innervated by one nerve all the way around the back on that one side to the front of the abdomen. Herpes simplex virus type 1 likes to set up shop, yes, in the nerve that's in charge of sensation right Right there on our lip. We all know that as a cold sore or herpes labialis. But what people don't realize is that same HSV1 can set up shop in the lumbosacral nerve. It's just like a cold sore. If it's coming out every once in a while, you can do the valley psych liver, one gram pills, take two pills twice a day for one day. If it's happening all the time every other month, they can go on chronic suppressive therapy with valley psych liver, 500 milligrams daily, just to keep that HSV1 at bay. The more you know,